it's Mark Wahlberg. Welcome to Click TV. Welcome to Click TV. Hey guys and welcome to Click TV. I'm Hilary Johnson. I'm here talking to Paul Shanahan today who's going to give us a quick run through of Windows 8. Paul, take it away. Yeah, hi Hilary. So um, this is Windows 8 as you can see. I mean, it's a brand new interface for Microsoft. Everything is about apps and picking apps that are relevant to you and a, and a completely new way of interacting with the apps. So you'll see even as you look at the screen, I mean, the apps are rotating information constantly, feeding you full of the information that you need. I mean, you've downloaded the app, you've picked an app that's relevant to you. So it's all about getting information to you as quickly as possible. I mean, in this, you can pick, uh, you, can, you can take the applications directly from the Microsoft Store, which you'll see here. And then at any point then you, you can uh, so you can browse through by category. You can actually use the search feature and the charms then to look for particular applications that you know are relevant to you. And then they pin them then to the start menu and you can drag and drop applications and move and customize the screen. So again you can you can position the apps so that they're at, at the, the start of the start screen so that they're they're feeding your information as quickly as possible. You can pin contacts then to your start screen too. And I mean the key advantage of that is uh, through your Microsoft account or linking your Microsoft ID through Windows 8, you can uh, pull in all your contacts from your social networking forums such as Twitter, such as LinkedIn, such as Facebook, and then pin those contacts or any relevant contacts to the start menu so that they're constantly updating with the latest information from uh, Twitter, from Facebook, from any of the social networks that uh, those contacts are connected to as well. Um, Again, we've linked everything then through what we call the charms on the right-hand side. So we've got the search feature, the share feature. We, we haven't got rid of the start button. We just moved it. It's over on the right-hand side now. Give your devices and settings. And even things like, for example, if we're, if we're up on the web and we find something that we want to share very quickly, all we have to do is click on the share icon um, and bring up a, a list of uh, share features that are available, such as sharing it through the email app or, again, sharing it through... Uh, any of our social networking forums through the, Twitter, the through, yeah again through the uh, the, the uh, people application. So straight away we can get content to us that's really really relevant, and again content out into the market that's really really relevant on a really quick uh, basis. Um, and again, it's, it's, it's kind of that bridge between what we would see as a consumer-based operating system as well as a business-based operating system, having things like the desktop available for legacy applications. And then again, having applications uh, available in the App Store, such as financial applications, feeding you full of information that is relevant to your business day to day. So it's that, it's that bridge uh, across what we call the, the consumerization of IT, feeding you the, the consumer piece as well as the business piece. And is there a way to say get feeds coming up on the side of your screen? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So what you can do is you can actually multitask on Windows 8. So it's a case of uh, picking an application that's relevant to you and then again bringing it across to the, just the left-hand side and using what we call the snap feature. So using the snap feature you can still have the most relevant information pull up to one side and then still work through the desktop or work through another application and still continue to browse the information again that's relevant to you. And at any point in time you can pull across the screen, get uh, more of an input, let's say, from one application than the other, or then pull right the way across, and again, close off that application straight away. And all it is is a case of going back into the start button and uh, at any point, and you're back into the start screen. And just by pulling from the left-hand side, you're back into the last application. Okay, Paul, thanks so much for talking to us. Guys, for more tech news, reviews, and interviews, head to clickonline.com.